us. I'm Sensei Melvin Balls. On today's video, I'm going to show you the benefit of my experience in the combat sports and martial arts. Now, just to let you know, in my time, I've been around. I've been around a few corners, as they say. I've been a duo supervisor, a bouncer, and I've been the head security at establishments, late nights, such as nightclubs and pubs, on who they let in and who they don't. I've been everywhere. I've done it all. There's nothing you can throw at me I haven't already seen. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to give you the benefit of all my experience. Welcome to Tactical Intuition Training System. I've developed Tits. this over... Hmm? Right, what I'm going to teach you is how to get yourself out of any situation you should find yourself in, no matter how harmful or how unprepared you think you are. I've had the t-shirts printed up now and everything. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to give you all you need to know to get yourself out of any trouble. So, welcome to the video, Fisted Bastille. Now let's get in that dojo and that lap then. Hello, now, the first part of any... Any type of sporting activity is obviously a proper warm-up because you don't want to pull anything. Now, years ago when I was involved with this, I pulled my groin. Felt so good. I did it again. You can have that one. You can have that one if you like. Uh, so, very important that we warm up properly and we stretch. And you want to stretch the upper body and the lower body. So for the upper body, we're going to stretch properly. That's the upper body stretch. Now the lower body, very important also. You don't want to pull anything. Now, hands on hips. And stretch for me. Really feel it in deep. I just pivot the hips, come on. If it's not feeling good, you're not doing it properly. Right, now, on this now, on this part, we're going to go over the basics. Now, I understand the basics might be quite dull and boring, but they are necessary. It's just like foreplay. What we're going to go over today is how to recognise threatening situations arising and kill them off before they get there. So we're going to go over awareness, reaction, safety, and escape. They're very doesn't that spell arse? It does, doesn't it? Does he have to be here, really? I mean, come on. Are you even a black belt? Right, now the first part of the filler is awareness. Simply being aware of what's going on around you. Now, say... It's late afternoon, maybe early evening, maybe even dusk. You're on your way home, you've done your shopping, you're coming back from work, and you think, I know, I'll just take a quick shortcut behind the alleyway. Now, what if, as you're walking, someone should pounce out on you, right? Now, it's dark, it's wet, it's slippery, or someone's trying to have a go at you in your back passage. What you've got to do is fist them, out and fast, and keep fisting and fisting and fisting at them until there's no more threat. Someone comes at you from behind, that's the only thing you can do, is give them a right good fisting. It's really, really hard. You put him down, now, escape, you want to get out there, because it's dark, it's wet, it's slippery, it will probably be quite smelly, and you don't want to be there when he comes up. That's how we do things. Now, at home, yeah, practicing. Safely, though, don't, don't be doing no stupid, because I've, yeah, I've not got enough to be, don't sue me, right? There's a disclaimer on this video for a bloody reason. They need telling some of this lot. Don't know where, that's their problem. Oh, uh, you've got to keep stretching, you've got to keep limber in this game, you know. Oh, uh, but if you, don't, if you don't stretch properly, you won't be able to kick. You won't be able to kick that so high. Uh, you've got to be able to kick quite high. How high can you kick? More oh, about, about so high. <coughs> How high? Uh, about so high. <coughs> you want me to show you? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, how high? But, <laughs> see? The sister in law perched upon the sink with the controller from the Wii. Well, but didn't let the kids go near it again, could I? Oh, right. Yeah, right. So far on this tape, I've just to recap, we've gone over how to punch people, how to kick people, and how to talk people down from a situation that could be threatening, perhaps even fatal. Now, I want to emphasize this at this point and say it's not all about how you use your hands. It's not all about how you use your feet, and it's not even all about how you use your mouth. What you've got to remember is the brain box. Right? A great man once said, knowledge is power. What that means to you, kids, is we all need knowledge. It's good advice from the champ.
I don't need a wipe. I've learned, remembering and reminding myself of everything I know. Now, it's important, of course, that you can't just watch the video once or twice a month and think you're going to be the next Bruce Lee. It's not enough to just look at the pretty pictures, you actually have to put it into action. So I hope you get out there and in a safe environment and in a very safe way. Hopefully, you can learn a lot from this and it will help you in your future endeavours. But remember, the training has to be put in. You can't just look at the pictures or flick through the description, you have to put in the training. It's one thing I always tell everybody, you can't underestimate necessary training. Does that stop coming?